Welcome back to McPhee Ford. Today we'll be looking at this brand new 2022 Ford Bronco Sport. Now this particular Bronco Sport is a Badlands model. So it is the top of the line model for the Bronco Sport. It is finished in Velocity Blue Metallic, which is a pretty rare color for the Bronco Sport. But again, we do have the Badlands model with the premium package. So this is a very high spec Bronco Sport. But starting in front, we do have these full LED headlights here with your Badlands unique front grille with the big Bronco logo right in the middle there. We also get a Badlands specific uh, lower fascia here. So we have the ex exposed tow hooks as well as an improved ground clearance. You also have your uh, front camera system there as well with a little washer jet just to keep it clean. And on this Badlands Bronco, we do have the optional uh, 17 inch wheels on the Falcon Wild Peak all-terrain tire. This is an upgraded tire from your standard Badlands model. This is certainly a more all-terrain off-road focused tire. There's your Badlands badge right on the side there. Again, unique to this Badlands. You do get a, a factory roof rail system on all Bronco Sport models. So it makes it super easy to mount a kayak or a bike or something like that. Here's another look at these 17 inch gray wheels. Again, on the optional all-terrain tire. We have these partial LED taillights here, as well as your rear parking sensors along the bottom of the bumper. We have your class two trailer hitch with the four pin connector right there, as well as your rear camera and a nice Bronco Sport logo right in the back. Now stepping inside of this Bronco Sport, we do have an intelligent access door handle, as well as a door entry keypad right there. First thing you'll notice are these beautiful roast colored seats here. We also have a sort of suede material on the backrest with a nice Bronco logo there. We have the black in, uh, perforation insert here as well. Again, these seats are unique to the Badlands model. We get a nice Bronco sill plate there as well. And here in the door panel, we get more of that roast color here on the armrest as well as the trim around the uh, door handle there. Power window controls with your power mirrors, as well as your power locks. And being the premium package, we do have the Bang & Olufsen premium sound system. So you do get that speaker right in the door there. And to the left of the steering wheel, you have your automatic headlight controls with your fog lights right there in the middle, as well as your tailgate release. Now stepping inside, we do get Ford's intelligent access key fob. So we do have remote start, as well as the tailgate release there on the key. And push button start is standard on all Bronco Sport models. We get a nice graphic there on the screen when we start it up too, which is nice. Here on the steering wheel, we do have a nice leather wrapped heated steering wheel with your Bronco logo there right in the middle. We have controls for your adaptive cruise control system, as well as some of your volume, and also controls for your center gauge cluster screen and some of your phone and track buttons there as well. Now we can scroll through various things in this gauge cluster. We have your different trip information. We also have your fuel economy status, tire pressures, or we can go back and view audio. We can change our audio, set a navigation destination, phone. We have other settings and display settings in there as well. And here in the middle, you do get Ford's Sync 4 8 inch touchscreen display. This is standard on the Bronco Sport. We can go into the home screen here. We have your navigation, as well as your audio and your phone. Or we can go into here. We can change our sources. We do have Sirius XM, FM, or Bluetooth. Also, we can add a Bluetooth phone there. We do have built-in navigation, which is nice. As well as various apps like Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. And other various settings in here as well. Some of your driver assistance features. Your adaptive cruise control, lane keep system, pre-collision assist. Blind spot system, trailer sway control, crash traffic alert, lots of good stuff in there. Ford Pass Connect settings, more display settings, vehicle settings. We do have the Bang & Olufsen center channel speaker up there as well. Now moving down, we do have the uh, dual zone automatic climate control, your heated seat button as well as your heated steering wheel button right there. Again, standard push button start. We have the manual button for the camera system, so we can push this button and manually select the front camera. You can also do a panoramic front view, which is nice. You have your auto start stop. 
some of your uh, quick access volume dials here. So you can click this, qu quickly change the, uh, the sound settings there too. Some of your track buttons as well as the off button for the screen. And we do have the shifter for the eight speed automatic transmission. This is the rotary dial automatic. Now because we have the Badlands, we do get the bigger engine. It's the two liter EcoBoost. All other ba uh, Bronco Sports do get the 1.5 liter. Um, but we do have the two liter here, which is nice. Makes about 250 horsepower. You have your parking brake, auto st your auto hold. We do have the trail control. So it's a lot of these features here are unique to the Badlands. Uh, we do have the crawl control system, or trail control, sorry, your trail control system, which helps you uh, maintain speed off-road. Your, tr your traction control, we also have your four-wheel drive lock. So it will lock the four-wheel drive system so all four wheels get power. We also have the rear locking differential. Again, we get a little icon there in the gauge cluster. Again, these are unique to the Badlands model. We also have GOAT modes, which is basically your drive select. So we can go into here. We have normal. We also have eco, sport. We have slippery, as well as mud and ruts, sand and rock crawl. And when you put it into rock crawl, it will automatically turn off the traction control. It will also pull up the front camera. It will lock the four wheel drive system, as well as the locking rear differential. And you get a unique sort of a graphic there in the gauge cluster too, which is pretty cool. And you put it back to normal. It will automatically shift everything back to where it's supposed to be. You have a nice roast colored uh, sun, uh, armrest there as well. More USB ports there. And up top, we do have controls for the sunroof, which is an option on the Badlands uh, model here. So we have controls for it up there. You get a nice sort of roast colored trim there as well. And on top of the dash. Now stepping into the back seat of the Bronco Sport, again, we do get that nice roast colored back seat here with the sort of suede material as well. Nice perforated inserts. And we do get the uh, rubber floors on all Badlands models, uh, which is nice. It makes it easy to clean. We also have a center armrest here with a couple of cup holders, as well as a 110 volt outlet, some USBs, as well as the rear climate vents there. And we do have the uh, under seat storage for this seat here as well, which actually a lot of people don't know about, is that there is some under seat storage there, which is nice. Uh, it keeps things hidden and out of the way. But coming around back, we do have a split tailgate, uh, so you can actually operate the glass individually. So you can open this up, access your cargo area without having to open up the entire uh, cargo door, which is nice. We open this up. We do have the optional cargo management system here. Uh, Ford introduced this for the Bronco Sport. And it kind of gives you a tiered sort of cargo system. So you can, you know, keep things up here. You have a 30 pound limit. And you can put stuff underneath, keeps it hidden and out of the way. We also do have the picnic, sort of picnic table arms. You can use this and uh, put it in a way where it actually uh, sets down on here and it'll give you a nice little picnic table as well. You get a sort of unique measurement system on here. We have a 12 volt as well as another 110 volt outlet. And also lights on the end of the tailgate. So you actually use these and it'll light up the area around it. You can adjust them as well. We also do get the uh, rubberized bottom here with your, tail, with your uh, spare tire underneath makes it super easy to clean again. So that pretty much sums up this walk around of this 2022 Bronco Sport. But unfortunately, this particular Bronco Sport is a sold unit. But if you're interested in getting one just like this, feel free to give us a call or visit mcfee4.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next video.